Hey guys, and welcome to the Jessica Knows. I'm Stephanie, and today I'm going to be doing the video all by myself. It will be a decluttering of my makeup slash junk. So before I bore you with my mess and you get grossed out, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below right here. You don't even have to scroll down. Just click. Um, okay, so... The reason why I'm decluttering is because lately I've been feeling a little like anxious and overwhelmed when I come do my makeup because I have a bunch of junk all over the place. And so I was wanting to like get rid of stuff. And I don't know, I was on YouTube just looking at like whatever and I happened to come around decluttering and apparently that's a thing. Like showing people that you're getting rid of your junk is a thing. It like has a lot of views. Anyway, so I decided that I was gonna do one too because I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon and it really would help me actually clean my junk because I will keep putting it off and keep putting it off. And so if I use it as a video, this is my reason to clean. Um, Cause I usually don't. I should do a video on washing dishes because that one, I hate it. But anyways, that will be another time not anytime soon um okay so back to my makeup um i just moved to this new apartment that i had and where i was at before i had like this long drawer and like mirror set up and so like it was too big for this one so i didn't want to bring it and i wanted to eventually get a new bedroom set up but um I just haven't bought any bed furniture yet. I've been saving my money for like a trip to Mexico. So obviously I have my priorities perfect. Um, I'm just kidding. But for the meantime, I bought this desk at Ikea and I thought it was gonna be big enough to hold my junk. And, and then my vision was, I didn't wanna put my makeup on in my restroom because it's like my theme there is like white and you know, makeup is, my color and stuff it's just dirty so I didn't want to do it there and then my makeup would end up on top of like my counters and I was like no I don't want to do that and then I bought a, this desk with no drawers because in my mind whenever I have drawers my makeup stays in my drawers and I never use them because I'll pull out whatever it is that I need and I'll leave it on the top and then I'm like in such a rush that I'm supposed to put it back in this in the drawers, but I never do. It ends up on the top. So I never use the makeup that's in the drawers. And then when I start to run out with of what's on the top, I go and buy new stuff. So I end up with tons of makeup. And so with this setup, I'm like, no, I'm gonna have everything on the top and it's gonna be nice and organized and I'll be able to see what I have and use it and blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So if you guys have any like tips or tricks or suggestions, just let me know in the comments below on that one. You will have to scroll down and please give suggestions. I need it um, as to what you guys do to keep your setup nice and, and clean and organized. I'm not a very organized person, so I won't be showing you how I organize stuff. So I'm gonna show you my setup. Don't judge me. This is a judgment-free zone, okay guys? Um, so just to keep in mind, I've warned you. Stay tuned to see what I'm working with here. Okay guys, so this is my little section of makeup and slash junk. This is where I come to try to put a face on. Um, so that's my little desk that I got at Ikea and that ring light is the bomb, you see me? Um, I got it. I want it on a giveaway. It's like a hundred something, $200 ring light. It's humongous. And I want it. It was free. Okay. I'm going to kind of just give you a little tour of my setup. This is a box of all new unused makeup that I get either from like BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Like this was in a box. This I bought and it's just in here because I haven't used it yet so I need to I pulled it out because I forget that it exists and in the bottom of my little desk I have all my setting sprays from like cheapy ones to more expensive ones and brands you probably don't even know about 
Um, I have my eyeshadow palettes here. This I thought was going to be a big enough square for all of them, but it's very like they don't fit. I have to like shove them in there. These are where I keep anything like blush, highlight, bronzer. This will be in that little section. This is all preface, anything that is moisturizer, primer, uh, eye stuff for the puffiness. This will be, well, it was better organized, but you know, life. This section is anything foundation. This is setting powders. Um, this is my lips. These are brushes. They were organized, but not anymore. Um, eyeshadows that I don't even use. Broken ones. I'll tell you the story in a minute. Singles, like brush clean, just junk, like dirty, even Vaseline. I don't know how I got that or why it's there. Um, mascaras concealers eyeliners anything with eyes these are the magnetic strips that i bought for this story or purpose and then the little pots i even have more things here and and this cheesy little mirror that i bought on like amazon because it supposedly had lights and does not light up anything so anyways this is my setup guys Let's just start with decluttering eyeshadows so that we're all not overwhelmed. Because I'm about to quit. That's how I feel about decluttering. Or maybe that's how I feel about cleaning. Anyways, stay tuned and let's see what I can get rid of with my eyeshadows. Because they're over there, they're here, they're there, and they're there. Okay, so here we have all of my eyeshadows. There's 63 things, like whether it's a palette or these or those. All of this together is 63 items. So I need to get rid of stuff because this isn't all going to fit. There's no way I will even use this stuff before it expires. So it's time to declutter. I need you guys to help me because this is going to be hard. Okay, so we're going to start off with these quads and singles and see what it is that I want to keep and get rid of. So the first thing is this Urban Decay in the color Moonspoon. I bought this because they did a makeover on me. Um, don't really use it. Um, these two are Revolution, the color Rose Gold and Rival. These are on clearance at Ulta, so if something's on sale, I just buy it. But they are like a creamy color. Do you see how creamy that looks? You can't, but look. It goes on creamy and it's pretty. I think I'm going to keep these. I don't know. Do I need them? These are going to be maybe. Next are these Sahai, Sahi. How do you say this? I don't know. It came in Ipsy in the color Doha and Dubai. They're kind of like gold colors and like a lighter, I don't know. I have these in this kind of colors in a lot of palettes, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Next is this Pat McGrath Labs. It's like a little shimmer and this I am gonna keep, guys, because she's Expensive. <laughs> Don't ever throw away Pat McGrath. Okay. Next are these Mica, Mika um, little pots that I got from those little stands in the middle of the mall. They like, look how pretty. They're loose. I had a bazillion of these colors. Like, she caught me and I went and spent about a thousand dollars in this brand's makeup and i mean i wore it for a hot second and i had so many colors like coral greens and i got rid of them look at how that gold shimmers i'm gonna keep these for what reason i don't know i don't ever use them as much i mean this gold 
the gold I do use. Like if I'm gonna go out and I'm wearing gold because it gives such a pretty shimmer. They now have this brand there, but this I was a little disappointed because it's like silver, but it's like loose. So for this loose glitter one, look, it's like spills. I have to use the NYX glitter glue so that like I'll put it, it's kind of like eye primer and it like really pops this silver. I mean, it's pretty, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Next I have these little individual Lancome. These are so old guys because I, it's been like years since I bought Lancome. But, like, can you see these, like, purpley, pinky shimmers? I'm going to get rid of these because these are, like, so old. But they were pretty at one time, I think. Next, I have this. You don't even want to know how old this Chanel eyeshadow is. <laughs> but I, I, keep these, I keep these around because... I mean, it's Chanel, and it's the only Chanel thing I have. I only have two colors in here. Um, I guess I'm saving it for this brown. Who knows? I was in college, guys. Look at, let's see if this even looks good. I mean, it's not too shabby. Hold on, let me give you a part of my skin that you can see. Like, it actually still does its job. But I'm just going to get rid of it because I, this was like college, like 2005. <laughs> this is so old. <laughs> okay, we're getting rid of this. Next, I have the, this is new, never used. This, um, Ciati, how do you say this? It's like a cream shadow. New, not used. I don't know if I want to just give this to somebody. How do you use this? Like, I mean, it's pretty. I just don't see myself using this color. So this will probably go to somebody. I haven't even used it. It's still in the box. Next, I have these Stila's. I love Stila. Like, that's so pretty these like caramel kit and karma is my favorite this one but this big kit and karma is like dry but i know it still has stuff in there because i barely used it do you guys know of a trick that i can do to like make it look like this This one's wanting to dry up also, the gold one. So if you guys have tr like an idea as to how this will come creamy again, let me know. And then if you don't, then I guess I'll throw it away. But I'm going to keep those because I love Stila. Okay, so these are all Lancome. Some are missing colors, but I just keep them because I don't think I can part ways with empty ones like this one I keep because of the purple and because of the silver which I don't even really like the silver but I keep it because of that silver so these I'm going to so some of them are missing because I like this this one I won't get rid of because of the blue just love the blue so all of these, I'm going to just, this one's like newish. Look how pretty this purple is. So pretty. So all of these are like missing colors. Let me tell you why. Don't judge me. I'm a weirdo. I know. So what I do is, or what I did was, I bought... It's fixie. I bought fixie, right? So because I had broken highlight. And so what I decided to do, which is probably not the smartest idea, is I would take all of the same colors and put it into like this little grinder. 
and I made myself some some little pots okay so like if you can see I scraped out like all the whites and whatever and this is the color that I came up with so I made two because I look and it works really good so and then I got some browns and I made this pot over here so that's what I'm gonna do with these so I'm not gonna really maybe I'm not gonna get rid of any of them I'm just gonna like put all the similar colors together and make a big palette because that's what I did over here because I needed whites and I did that a while back so I don't know if I'm gonna throw these it's just time consuming to do the fixie okay so these next two I actually this one so I got this from BoxyCharm and it came with these four and it came with like a spongy thing and I just ripped it off and I put these two in here because it's like magnetic. So I got other boxes from BoxyCharm and they didn't fit in that. Remember my little drawer? So I got this from Amazon and I depotted all like three and this was one. This was two, this was three, and four with the other two over here. Four palettes in one because it didn't fit. So that's why I have all those little magnetic things and like these pots. So I didn't really do a really great job. I was watching a video about this, like this one girl, how she was depotting them. And she was literally just like whacking it and it was falling off. But I was like, dude, mine was a struggle because I broke some. Look, because when I was trying to like pull it up some of them broke so I need to use my fixie to fix this so I have these two of just mixture of my depotting stuff this one I was about to depot but I didn't have any more room so I'm just gonna keep it the way it is I don't even know if I want it so far I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't use these colors I mean I keep them for this and like this gold is pretty but I don't really reach for it this storybook came in a box don't use any of these I know it's upside down I just don't want to blind you with my mirror but these are very new I want to keep it because of that blue but I may give this away like this may be in a giveaway so if you see it in a giveaway, don't be scared. It hasn't been used, like at all. Okay, so this is also another one of like my potting things. Just like, it's pretty. I think this is a highlight, I'm not really sure. Okay, so I tried to depot this Anastasia because some of these are like, look, like if, can you see the scratchy marks and look. <laughs> It just, it's like hard. So there was no way I was going to depot this. Um, I was on a roll, I guess, and I just stopped here. But I like this palette because I use like these neutral, like um, warm colors and like my transition colors. So this I won't get rid of. It's kind of, look how yucky it is. Um... I have this other Anastasia that I just got from Poshmark. I got it. It was a steal, guys. But um, I know it's an older palette, but I just love these colors. So, like, this one has the pink and the purple, but it's in here with other colors that are prettier. So, I may just keep this and get rid of this. So, it's, like, new in the box still. Okay, so then I have, have these Revolution. This one I've opened and I've used some of these colors. Um, I mean, I like them. Like, they're pretty, but I don't reach for it. This one is still sealed and unused because I bought it thinking I was going to use it and I just haven't. So this, this may be in a giveaway also. Who knows? It's not used, guys. It still has a seal. Next, I have this super old Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay collaboration. And you can see that I use two colors a lot. But I won't 
don't want to get rid of this because I love the blue. So, I don't know because I have other blues. So, I may get rid of this. Next, I have my Kylie. I went through a Kylie phase. I can't find the name. So, this is this color. I use them. I mean, not a whole lot. And then the Coco one by Kylie. I just bought the whole thing, the whole whatever. And I haven't really used these colors. I think I've used like this one. Maybe this one. But I'm not going to get rid of it because I'm going to keep this. Okay, so next I have Huda Beauty, the Dark Dusk palette. Look how... It I love the colors. These look ugly like this because I wet my brushes. Like I use this or the pink for like eyeliner. So I'll wet my brushes and it looks like that, but it still works. But I need to use this more. I'm not getting rid of that one. This one is semi new. Bought this at like Thanksgiving, Christmas time. I love the colors. I am going to keep it like all these things back here, like the pencil and the liner and the brush. It's all new. Haven't used. Okay, so the vault from Jaclyn Hill. I don't really use the vault. This is my favorite palette and the only one I like out of the bunch. Like this one is like yellows and browns and I really don't care. I don't, I mean, I touched the gold and the yellow a little bit, but not like something like this one, the reddies. I mean, I use this one a little bit or I don't know, I'm trying to try to use this palette. This is a green then I mean, I'll keep this one for the silver, but these three, I don't really care for. But it's the vault, so so what do I do? Do I keep one and throw the uh, get rid of the other ones? I mean, I don't know, guys. So far, I'm just gonna put it over here in the nose, and I'll keep this one. So the other Jaclyn Hill palette I have is like the original one. I haven't gotten the newer one. But this one, I was like, start off using it a lot, and then I kind of just slow down. I don't really reach for this anymore, but I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. I'll figure something out. So the other guy from Morphe is James Charles. And I got this mini because I was going to give it as a gift. And then I decided to keep it for myself. This is unused and untouched and still in the box. Um, I just don't know if I would really use these colors. I just, it takes, like, I'm very basic. <laughs> I like brownsies and golds and I need somebody to give me a tutorial to use colors. So, but I'm not going to get rid of that yet. These are my other Morphe's. Like, this is a butterfly one. I just love the pinks and I just bought it for these two colors and I've used this like once but I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it I don't know um this one I bought in Vegas this is hot spot I just like the blues and the greens that's kind of why I got it like this one but I use the blue like I don't know I have a like I love the color blue I wear blue. I love blue. This is such a gem. I just love these colors and they're colors that I probably would wear. Well, more like the ones that you can see are used like these. Um, I really haven't used the other ones. I've used this palette like maybe max three times and I've had it for like since the summer. And then my last little collection. So this is Pat McGrath. And this palette came with a little uh, little loose powder. And I think it came with mascara. I'm not really sure. 
But this little palette, I love it. This one I probably use more often than any other ones. I mean, it looks like I really don't use it, but I do. I love her shadows and I can't wait to try the foundation. And I was going to try the foundation at, at Sephora with like hopefully a makeup makeover thing, but now I have problems. This is another one that I got because I had a makeover and they used it on me, so I bought it. Um, I just, these are colors that are so like basic looking, but they're my go-to colors. <laughs> Those are the kind of colors I use all the time because I'm basic. And then this palette I got from Sephora because I got that $100 um, gift thing when you use your 2,500 points. So I bought this and paid for the difference. So I love these like this orangey color bam right and then this one look it they are so pretty guys like if you can like not that if you can afford it but if you want to spend money like her palette is great so out of my palettes i just got rid of these and i kind of they keep the I don't really use them actually I've had them for a while so I think I'm just gonna get rid of them and give them to like for friends or something or family my mom will take it um okay guys so that was the end of my eyeshadow decluttering hopefully I didn't bore you I ended up getting rid of a little bit of stuff and I have all of this that I need to still do so stay tuned and let's see when i do another decluttering of all that other junk thanks for staying with me hopefully it'll come soon because i need to figure my life out y'all have a great day bye